hello everyone so in this uh, video we will learn about interval of validity of a given differential equation suppose uh, we have the following initial level problem consider the following initial level problem y prime plus p of t y plus equal to q of t and the initial condition is given as y of t0 equal to y0 sir. so if p of t and q of t are continuous functions on an open interval continuous functions on an open interval alpha comma beta where uh, alpha comma beta and t0 belongs to this interval alpha comma beta then there exists a unique solution unique solution to this IVP to the initial value problem on this interval so it is more of a kind of a theorem you can say so let it me star mark this thing okay so so the main so if you consider it as a theorem you can consider it as a theorem as a result also so if you look into this uh, result carefully so it uh, so looking at a IVP suppose uh, we looking at a differential equation we may not be able to solve that differential equation but at least we can uh, say or guarantee the existence of a solution uh, in a particular given interval also if some initial condition is given we can also say that the solution is given so let us just take an example as as we do in every other previous videos we always give a theory study it and then look at an example how does the theory works out so suppose we are uh, given the following uh, initial value problem okay so suppose t square minus 4 y prime plus 2y equal to 1 by 20 minus 40 okay and suppose we are given that y5 equal to 2 this is the initial condition okay so let me highlight this form So let us uh, see uh, where I, where we can find the interval of validity. Okay. So for that uh, we take this part and divide the whole differential equation because you can you can see uh, that in the form of the differential equation we don't have anything in the coefficient of y prime. So I am dividing. So this is same as y prime by 2 by t square minus 4 y 1 by 20 minus 40 it was already there now t square minus 4 is extra so let us find those points of t where uh, these two functions this function and this function is not not defined so what are those points that is if t, t square minus 4 equal to 0 and 20 minus 40 equal to 0 so these points are at these points of t these functions will not be defined that is it functions are not continuous functions okay 
so what is this this is plus minus 2 and this is t is equal to 5 okay so according to our form so this is nothing but p of t and this is our q of t so according to the result we need to have continuous functions right so at this point the functions are not defined so what will be our interval uh, at where uh, at which these functions p and t are, are defined so for p and q t the intervals will be minus infinity to minus 2 union 2 to 5 union 5 to plus infinity right but see okay so at these intervals we have solution of the differential equation but we uh, but we can't comment on the uniqueness because the initial value which is defined or given in this problem is on 5 so let's let us change this initial value so suppose this thing is not there suppose we are given instead of this initial value we are given y of 4 equal to 2 then one can see that the value 4 lies in, the, in this interval so we can see we can say that for t belongs to 2 comma 5 the given differential equation or given IPP has a unique solution So I deliberately took that initial condition uh, to show you that it will it will not help us to determine the uniqueness of the solution of the differential equation. So maybe I don't know whether we can we are able to solve this differential equation or not. Actually, for this problem, we don't need to know whether we can solve or not. So we need just the existence of the solution in a particular interval. Okay, just. Let's go back and see the theory once more. That if if you have a for IPP of this following form, the and p t are continuous functions of t on an open interval alpha beta, and the initial condition where it is defined that belongs to that interval, then there exists a unique solution to this IPP. 